guys, my name is Rio and welcome to another vlog. It's going to be a bit different tonight as it is a charity game. It's between Chester Select 11 and Colin Murray's All Stars at the Swansway Chester Stadium. It's a charity game to raise money for Chester Football Club as we're currently in some financial trouble. I've actually only just got back from school to find out that I won the competition for tonight's game to be a mascot. I'm absolutely delighted because I haven't been a mascot before, so this will be a great experience for me. I'll get to meet all the players, including Ian Rush, Michael Lowen, Clinton Morrison, Ryan Lowe, plus everyone else. I will be able to go on behind-the-scenes stadium tour. I will um, be leading the two teams out to the pitch, and also I'll get to meet the players in the dressing rooms before the game. Because I work at Chester Football Club, I get to go pitch side through every game. But I haven't been a mascot before and this experience tonight will be once in a lifetime for me. And I can't wait. As I said before, the match itself is a charity game to raise money for Chester FC. Um, it's Chester Select 11, so that's like a team of the best Chester players since 2010. And before that when we were in the Football League. And the other team is Colin Murray's All-Stars. Colin Murray's a famous Chester fan. He presents a football league show on Channel 5 and is a DJ for Talk Sport and BBC Radio and all of that. Malarkey. Um, so, yeah, he is a famous Chester fan. Um, and he's picked his own team for the game, which includes Ian Rush, Michael Owen, Clinton Morrison, uh, Mike Taylor... Jason McAteer, ex-Premier League players and all that, but um, this match tonight it's really important to raise money for the football club and hopefully there'll be a good crowd there, a couple of thousands I hope, so it's going to be great. Okay, so let's just quickly run through the two squads, starting with the Chester Select 11. The manager was Kevin Ratcliffe, who was with Everton and was the Chester manager in the 1990s. Then the goalkeeper is Wayne Brown, who was with Chester about 14 years ago. After that, you've got Matty McGinn, who scored the winning goal around six years ago on the last day of the season against title rivals Northwich to get us promoted to the Conference North. After Matty McGinn, you got Greg Stones, then Carl Ruffer. Ian Sharps was our, was our assistant manager last season, but left for Walsall halfway through the season. Then in defence again, you got Paul Linwood. And when we played Wrexham a few years ago, we beat them away 2-0 and he scored one of the goals as shown in his snapshot. And last... Also in the Chester squad is Paul Carden, the current manager of Warrington Town. Then, of course, Ryan Lowe. He's a well-known striker who is the Berry manager, played for Chester 10 years ago. That should say Sean Reed instead of Robbie Booth, and that is Sean Reed, that picture. Then Chris Sim, Ian Howard, one of our best players since reformation. After Ian Howard in the Chester squad is Adam Judge, then striker Ben Mills, who had a good spell at the Blues in 2013. Then lastly, Michael Powell. Finally, in the Chester squad is Stuart Graves, Matty McNeil, Dan Torrance, Zach, is, I think is how you say it, and Ian Pemberton. Ian Pemberton is a supporter of the Blues, who has optioned his place into the squad, so I, that's a really good gesture by him. I wish that Marcus Bigner actually picked this squad on Saturday against Eastleigh, because at least these players would care for the club. In Colin Murray's squad is player manager Ian Rush. He actually started his career at Chester, before playing for Liverpool, Juve and those clubs. In goal is Mike Taylor, who plays for Birmingham and Northern Ireland. Andy Griffin is in defence. He played for, he actually played for Chester, Reading. Then Hag Danny Higginbottom. He's played for Stoke, Man United and Chester most recently. Also Gibraltar. Sonny Pike. He actually wasn't a professional footballer, but he's famous for being the next Maradona but whilst he was at Ajax he got a bad injury so he didn't have a career of football 
Then Justin Madders, an MP in Ellesmere Port. I don't know where he'll play on the night, whether it'll be left wing or right wing. Also in the squad is Clinton Morrison, play for Crystal Palace. The man himself, Colin Murray, so the DJ who's with BBC and Channel 5 and all that. Eddie Bishop, who played for Chester in the 90s. He's actually famous for falling down the stairs while he was injured during the game against Stoke. And uh, so, yeah, there's a video on YouTube about that. It's really funny. It's got over 10,000 views. Um, Michael Owen, who can forget him? At England International from Chester himself, actually. Of course, at Liverpool, Man United. Perry Groves, Neil Meller, who used to play for Liverpool too. On Colin Murray's team as well is Richie Partridge, David Thompson, who used to play for Liverpool, Michelle Owen, who is a Sky Sports presenter and is the sister of Michael Owen, so got a bit of a family um, connection, shall I say. Danny Webber too, who used to play for Manchester United. Then up front is Chris Irolumo. He was Chester's assistant manager last season and was for half of this season. Um, he played for clubs such as Burnley, Watford, uh, played for Scotland as well and he also ended his career at Chester as a striker. And of course Jason McAteer who is a famous former Liverpool player. I'm sure you would have heard of him. And finally for Colin Murray's team is Danny Webber, Terry Owen, who is Michael Owen's father, who played for Chester in the 1970s, John Worth, not who played in goal for Chester a couple of years ago, and Sam Pemberton. Sam is Ian Pemberton's son, and he has also paid £1,000 just to play in tonight's game, which is a great gesture, and my hat goes off to both of them. Hopefully you will enjoy today's video. It should be better than my usual Chester vlogs, which seem to be with us losing every single week. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel.
just got back from the game and the Chester Select 11 won 4 1. It was a truly unforgettable night for me. I thoroughly enjoyed um, being a mascot for the first time. It was great to meet players such as Michael Arini and Russ, everyone else, and to um, get to talk to them, have photos, get autographs, etc. And also, it was a real privilege to walk out onto the pitch with Michael Levin to lead the two teams out. And that's a moment I will forever. Also, tonight we raised £25,000, which is truly amazing. Our initial target of £50,000 has now been smashed to £75,000, which is incredible. Also, the attendance is over 2000 which is fantastic as well. Hopefully, the majority of them will attend our upcoming home games too in the league and give the club our full support. The match itself was very entertaining too, with there being five goals in it. There were a lot of um, challenges, tackles, goals. Um, there were a couple of penalties as well, some being scored, some being missed. So, yeah, uh, it was a really good night for the club too, and with so many people getting involved. Chester's next match was against Eastleigh at home on Saturday. Of course, I will be going to the game, so I'll be recording the match and will upload my highlights and preview on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to leave a like for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure you have. And please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.